Welcome back, folks. I think we have enough money to do what I want to do. And basically, I want to make our passenger train tracks. I, I want to have a cargo route going alongside them, or a cargo set of train tracks going alongside them, all the way up to Abilene here. And then all the cities on the side, they will be fed by trucks. They'll be fed by trucks that go out to each of these towns uh, with the resources that they need. And perhaps also passengers. I don't know if I want to do passenger trains out to every city. But maybe. I don't know yet. Uh, but first things first, um, let's let the game run. And down here, we actually need to have a rate of 400, which we don't right now. We have about half that. So let's add another three vehicles to this. And here... We have a rate of 346. That's the same route, yeah. So I think the rate will get better, but down here for the steel, we have a rate of 238. So we will clone those because we need 1600. Um, coal and uh, iron ore to get this producing at a max rate so that's what we're gonna do all right so that's done how are our new ferries doing you have 20 people on board you have 18 12 13 okay not doing too bad 47 wow not doing too bad. Okay. Now, down here, we have a massive problem with traffic. And I am thinking of creating a second connection here from this point. And I think I will do that. Uh, we want it to be country. Uh, we could also go with freeways or highways. Let's go with highways. Uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's go with highways. So, something like that. And uh, let's do this. And let's, whoa, let's come down. And then come into here. And I then want one going the other way. I obviously don't want it to connect up with the other one. I'll come out there. And then come in there. Okay, hopefully that'll help a bit. It's not pretty, I know. But it's fine. Hopefully that'll help on this traffic mess that we have going down here eventually it does look like some people are using it yeah we'll see 
It's not pretty, I know, but I just wanted to try and make a quick solution. So. We want to make this cargo line on the way. And basically what I would like to do is have maybe two lines going from way up north to way down south and they can pick up where whatever they want they can drop off whatever they want all the way and and we can have different productions going in to be dropped off at the train station to be picked up and and sent down the line somehow Yeah, I think I kind of like that idea. And we have a very nice, uh, we have oil refinery, we have a fuel refinery, and we have tons of oil here. So this can go up to, let's see, two, four, six, eight hundred, I guess. So can this. Maybe. Hmm, and Tacoma needs a tiny bit of fuel. Waterbury needs fuel. Fargo needs fuel. And Virginia Beach needs fuel as well. There's Frisco. Frisco needs fuel. So yeah, I'm thinking hook up these three oil wells to this and then sending it down here by truck and then making a station down here in Tacoma that will come up to Waterbury and down to Virginia Beach. Then we could build a road from Waterbury up to Fargo so that we can deliver some fuel there or from Provo to Fargo. We already have a road there. And I think that would be kind of nice. Yeah. So first things first, we need to upgrade some streets to large country roads. We can't do that there. We can't do that there. Oh, something's going on. Hello, game. There we go. Kind of. All right, so let's bulldoze some roads here. I'm gonna try and make it kind of follow that in there in the um, in the forest. All right. So let's build a road like that, like that, like that. And then out. We are connecting. Well, let's try and build it from the other way. It's too close. It's too far. I kind of feel that's a little bit too far. There we go.
looks a little bit messed up, but it is what it is. Okay, and then we'll come out to this one. And I feel like that's too far away. Right, I guess that'll have to do. And then come in there. And then... This needs to be better. So we have one, two, three. We need a road out here to this one as well. Where is it that they want to come in? It's over here. All right, bunch of new buses. Not bad. Uh, Union, Toronto, Philly, San Fran, Edmonton, Hamilton. A lot of different stuff. Send you down this way and connect into here. All right. And then we need an entrance here. Collision. Collision. And collisions. Oh, come on. No collision, but it looks terrible, doesn't it? Um, let's try and do this. No, we could just make it here. It does look like there's an entrance there as well, doesn't it? So. Yeah, that'll probably do. Alrighty. And then we need to upgrade here. And we'll have a collision here as well, of course. Let's upgrade it all the way to in there. And then come in. Let's start from up here. It's a little bit too close. That works. And then let's just come in here. Okay. And then we need a train station down here in Tacoma, which will send oil over to Virginia Beach or fuel over to Virginia Beach. And that's fine. All right, but let's let's uh, get these uh, cargo stations in. Uh, four lane industrial station, so that's perfect. That's three lane in lanes in and one lane out. That is exactly what we need. So let's stick you in there. Then we need just a single port 
each of the others. Mm, let's use this one. Um, it'll make it high. One terminal. Uh, one tree. I don't know about that yet. I want a wall around, I think. Asphalt. Okay, and where is the length? I think I want that to be 50 meters. So... Too much slope. Right. Oh, I did put it down to 10 meters. It's 15 meters by default, isn't it? And that actually works. We'll put one in there. And we'll put one in here, I think. Like that. Then we'll put one in over here. Is there a collision? I guess this needs to be a little bit longer. Why is there a collision? Fine. Uh, we will just do this, and then it's all good. And then down here we need one with two. Two lanes, perfect. Let's put you in there. And then we need a terminal. Now, since we are doing a train over here from Tacoma, do we want to make it go up to Waterbury and down to Virginia Beach and make a passenger connection there? And I kind of think we do. Yeah. We're building the train anyway, right? Right. So. Twenty meters. Actually, let's just do passenger. And I just want the standard one. Three hundred and twenty meters. High speed catenaries. And I'm thinking that we place it something like down here. Like that. And then we configure it. And do what are all these? My platform. Okay. Well, we want high speed rails. Mm. 
And then we want a platform for cargo. And then we want some more high speed rails with catenaries over here on this side. Okay. So that's that. Let's uh, connect this to a street. I think we'll go with a medium sized and do like that. Okay. And then I'm thinking we come up and over like this. We'll have this station here, which will then come down and into there. So we have the passengers on this side, which is really not the side we want them on hmm. we want to redo this so that we get the passengers on the other side no because we want the cargo to we need one two four cargo stations uh, or cargo terminals on this and two passenger and I actually want the cargo in the middle so two three four four uh, all right and then uh, platform and then tracks we're gonna have to move this station just a tad We might. Hey. Why, why can't I build there? Alright, I think we have to move this station over a little bit. That's fine though. Uh, let's pause, we'll get some new trains and some new planes. Wow, a lot. Okay. Let's pull you back just a tad here. Like that. And then we will do a new... Passenger terminus. And we're going to move it over here. Hey. What happened there? Why didn't it? build oh it did just took a while to come in has to be tracks with catenaries all right so there's that um we need some uh, signals like 
like that. And that's done. Then we need to configure this and we need this to come in here. And then we need a platform for cargo. And then some more high speed tracks times two. And then another cargo platform. And then some more tracks. And there's room for us to make this the, the building look a little bit more uh, imposing than it does. And then, actually, oh, crap. All right. And then a passenger platform on the outside. Okay. So this is a pretty big project that we're doing. And that's fine. I like big projects. Okay. And then, of course, we need miscellaneous. We are going to need some of these. Let's put them across from the ones that are their standard. Like that. And then some roof uh, platform roof let's just make it as it is on the other side so it looks kind of uniform oh uh huh okay speed tracks I made it a little short and then platforms uh, we need cargo cargo passenger and a underpass and a roof okay well, that's better and then let's do a couple of, oh, that's too big, that's too big, Dang it, that's too big, that's too big, all right that works. So like that. I think that's reasonable. And then we need, of course, a uh, station up here, which needs two plus passenger and two cargo platforms, I think. And it needs... So down here we have passengers on this side. So we need to do a, a cargo building or a cargo station. Whoops. Uh, let's just do this over. Cargo station to and we'll get you in here.
something like that. And then we'll configure you. Uh, uh, to passenger platforms and tracks for it. So I, I really like these combo stations and it's a shame that you can't really combo any of the station mods that I've found. It seems like it's one or the other. And I thought, think that's a real shame. Because I really like the, the combination of having cargo and um, Oh, we can't put those on those now, unfortunately. Let's put one there, one there, one there, one there, and some roof. And I am actually thinking that we do this one. Because I think it looks nice. So that's our station here in Waterbury, which I think looks pretty good. Uh, we do need a road for it. And let's come out this way. do that okay so we'll bring this up this way and over this wide water way here and then come down to down here but we'll have to do that next time because we are running out so we'll have to do that next time and also see what it looks like next time but i think it's a good looking station that we will be very happy with so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time